How MBTI Types Handle Breakups, Introvert Edition Breakups are part of life, but how we handle them varies from person to person. Some people may be resilient and bounce back quickly, while others might take more time to recover. Understanding the way you process emotions, can help with coping during a breakup, this video will tell you how introverted types handle breakups. ISFJ ISFJs are romantics at heart, when they fall for someone, they dive all the way into the other person's world. So when they get their heart broken, it takes time to come back out of that, and re-enter their own private life again. This is one instance where spending time with friends can be very helpful, processing emotions with others, often gives people a fresh perspective. While giving themselves a chance to take stock and move forward. ISFP ISFPs tend to prolong the breakup period more than they should. It is more difficult to address the pain and end things, than to let it slowly die. They find that sometimes is easier just ghosting their partner. This will inevitably lead to regret down the road, when they realize how much time was wasted, for them as well as their partner. If the ending isn't clear or firm from either party, then it can become even worse for those involved in these types of lengthy breakups. Possibly leaving each person with lingering feelings about what could have been done better, make sure there is closure, so both parties can move on quicker. ISDJ ISDJs are extremely practical about their missed relationships. They're able to look back on such a relationship without regrets and move forward with life, but this doesn't mean that they don't have feelings of sadness at all. Trying their best with someone only to see it end up in one big failure, can leave them feeling bitter and angry. These feelings should be released before looking for another person, because if not dealt with properly, these feelings might just come out when least expected or desired in a new relationship. INTJ? INTJs are analytical and perfectionists by nature. When something goes wrong, they have a hard time moving on, until they can figure out what exactly went wrong. INTJs want to learn from their mistakes, so that next time things go better, they own the fallout of their decisions with complete understanding. If they feel like there was some massive misunderstanding, or worse, it wasn't their fault. They may even reach out to their ex, in order to get closure, just so they can completely grasp what transpired. They do this because it helps them to be better equipped for future potential relationships. INTJs should not force a bad relationship with someone, just because they were invested, sometimes people don't work well together for unknown reasons, despite the amount of time spent together. INFJ INFJs are emotional, the dating world is a tough one, and when they meet a suitable person, it can be hard to let go. Even if they feel like their relationship couldn't work out in the end, there's still an underlying fear that maybe somewhere down the line things might change for the better. It's okay to miss them sometimes, but make sure not to get stuck living inside this misery forever. Meeting someone new will help heal those broken feelings from past heartbreaks quicker, it's important for them to be able to snap themselves back into reality. INTP The INTP is a logical thinking type, and can make decisions based on compatibility with the other person. When they break up or find themselves in a breakup situation, it's not uncommon for them to analyze what led to the mishap. However, people are often more complex than puzzles, so even if they try their best at analyzing why things didn't work out, sometimes there isn't a clear answer. The important thing is not to dissect every detail looking for answers, because people are complicated and there's no way INTPs can predict when love or a breakup might happen. INFP INFPs are so in touch with their emotions, that they can be more easily hurt by others, than most types. There is a tendency for INFPs to put themselves down when reflecting on past relationships, assigning all the blame to themselves. They are far more empathetic than average, which means that over time they're prone to get nostalgic about lost love. There is always an opportunity where things could have been done differently or better, they tend to feel like they could have done more. Instead of dwelling so much on the past, lean into new possibilities. Put all that emotion into something positive, like volunteering or gardening, rather than wallowing over lost loves, you'll be able to heal much faster. ISTP ISTPs are known for their impartiality, and this is especially true in the case of breakups, they have a tendency to move on quickly from breakups, and dwelling on the past can feel tiresome for them. I recommend taking your share of the responsibility for the breakup by reflecting on what went wrong, instead of dwelling. Remembering why things didn't work out, can help them learn from their mistakes, so they don't happen again. 
If you liked the video, please consider leaving a like and subscribing, that will allow us to keep making more videos like this. For more related content please click on one of the suggested videos. Thank you for watching.